right, so we got this beaver deceiver in here. We talked earlier in one of the previous videos about how I was concerned that this would artificially keep the level too low, which and I'm getting soaked from it. Uh, and so if the ice froze too low, it may not provide enough depth for them to store their food and be able to get access to it in the winter time. So we're gonna put a monk pipe in. There's a bell end right there. I don't wanna glue this because I wanna be able to rotate it up and down and change the level. And I made it bigger than it probably needs to be. Like if you look at this, that's gonna bring the level of the water up pretty high. It's actually about the height of the dam. But I'd rather have more pipe than less for right now. It's just an experiment to see how it goes. So, to make up for the lack of glue, we got some band clamps here. And I'm gonna just try and clamp the bell end really tight to see how it works. It may not be enough. And if not, I'll cut a uh, slit in the bell end and then clamp it, which will give it a bit more purchase. So here's trying. I'm hoping too that the increased flow is gonna encourage them to build the pond higher. So let's see what happens. Hopefully I don't do the splits and end up in the drink. <laughs> oh, I forgot the band clap. Hold on. Ooh, that's a lot of water. a little plug for Leatherman. It's kind of the best crappy tool you can own. They always come in a pinch, but they're not really all that great, but they seem to get you by. I try and keep one on all the time. Okay. So this thing you can see, here's the level right now. Like that. So we'll start it off there and see what happens. See if it's flowing by the morning. We'll get it just so it's just barely flowing. Okay, right there. Every day I'm gonna put it up just a little bit. And then I think I'm going to support the pipe too. If I can find a stick that works. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good one. I'm not going to do it for a little bit. Wow, a lot of change. 
Wait, I'm gonna let her off. Wow. Look at how much has changed. Oh, they're gonna be so mad about this. Water? Beavers. Water. What are we doing? What are we doing? Imagine if you were <laughs> like, oh, oh. you could put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go do it. You got something perfect for the Y. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna get all the bloopers on here. Do what Mama did. Really sweet. She ran. She ran out of water. But the water feels really nice. You know? Oh. It's actually like a lovely temperature. Quick sandwich. Yes! I made it without falling in! Oh. 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 Okay, there we go. A whole bunch of wet boots. Yeah. <laughs> Ollie, you gotta get a blooper or else, you know? You're not part of it, man. I'm <laughs> about to swim. Go for it. Okay, I think that's good. We'll come back with another video when we're done. We're in a couple days. Let's see if this is flowing again, which is an indication that they've moved the pond up a little bit higher. And if we really wanted to nerd out, we could actually go on Google Earth Pro and measure out the size of the pond. When my drone is back, maybe we can do this. And we can figure out kind of what, how much water each inch is going to additionally um, harvest. We could figure that out. It's a lot of water. I don't think we'll do that. But um, anyways, stay tuned for the next one. We'll keep watching as this beaver down gets higher. <laughs>